What can people expect when they come to see this? Complete chaos. Complete British chaos, basically. It's, it's a delightful, mostly very dry British humor. Um, very dramatic and theatrical. It's, it's, again, quite chaotic, so it should be a good time. Um, a lot of overacting. I guess I shouldn't say that because I'm in the acting program, but um, yeah, in a good way. It's it's I, I when I was reading it alone, I was laughing out loud just reading it. So it's it's a, quite a comedic play, and uh, hopefully it's really spot on accents. Um, let me think. Judith, my dear, this is divine. Listen to this, Simon. Loves a trollop stained with wine, clawing at the breasts of adolescents. Nuzzling, tearing, shrieking, beating. God, why were we fashioned so? The poor girl's potty. I wish she hadn't sent me the beastly book. I must say something nice about it. The binding's very dashing. I was really excited uh, because I've, I've done some Noel Coward before in high school. We did Blythe Spirit. And I love the, I love the British comedy. It's just, I really enjoy doing it. It's really fast and witty and lots of fun. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. It's a comedy. Smug, thank you. Yes! Smug, smug, smug! And pompous! I hope it. I hope I need a moment. I'll come to the side of that. No. No, okay. Where are you just ended up? Do it again. Do it again. Smug, thank you. Yes! Smug, 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 and pompous. I hope you haven't been drinking, dear. Drinking? Ha! Huh, that's very amusing. I think it's rather tragic. That's your time of life. Yeah, you throw that over your shoulder. That's your time of life. Did you hear? Hey, what's all we do? And then we'll just carry on. Oh. I don't know what's happened to you lately, Judith. Nothing's happened to me. Nothing ever does. You're far too smug to allow it. Smug, thank you. Yes, smug, smug, smug. And pompous. I hope you haven't been drinking, dear. Drinking? Ha, huh, that's very amusing. I think it's rather tragic. That's your time of life. And who are you playing in the production, and what's what was it like for you kind of learning the character? Um, I'm playing Sorrel, and she is the daughter of Judith and David Bliss. Um, <laughs> she, there's this one part of the play where she says, uh, uh, she says that she's, she hates being frustrated and cluttered up by the family. She wishes she was living on her own, making her own living. And I'm from, I have a, I'm from a family of five, and I'm the middle kid, and I always feel stuck in there, and I can relate with Sorrel because she gets frustrated by the family, and it's infuriating living in a dramatic family, and that's kind of where I came from when I play Sorrel, I guess. Right on. So we're going from Mother Mother and go. Mother! Mother, I've got something important to tell you. Very well. Where's Sorrel? In the library, I'm afraid. Sorrel! Come out, I've got something vital to tell you! You seem excited, my boy. What has happened? What's the matter? I wish you would all look so depressed. It's good news. Good news? I thought perhaps Jackie had been drowned. No, Jackie hasn't been drowned. She's been something else. Simon, what do you mean? Uh, I'm Kelsey Flower. I'm from Calgary, born and raised. Um, I'm in my second year of the Theatre Arts uh, Mount Royal program. Uh, my character is Sandy Tyrrell. He's one of the guests of the Bliss's house. And he is from Knightsbur Knightsbridge in Chelsea, London. And he is son of Princeton and... Rachel, to you. And do you identify personally with your character, or was it a big challenge to try and get into the role? Um, this is probably the most fun I've had with a character. It's, uh, I, I, I've, they always tell you to bring a little something to your character each time, so I think I identify with this character quite a bit. What would you say was the biggest challenge trying to pull this production together? Uh, probably the dialect trying to be true to the mm -hmm. dialect of RP. Um, you, you don't want to try and mimic the sound, you want to try to be able to create the sound with your mouth, which is retraining, and it, it's a lot of work.
are you most looking forward to about seeing this go live in front of an audience? Um, it'll be great to see the reactions that we get because it's, it's definitely interesting with comedy and especially with such a dry humor and a, and a British comedy is that we'll find something extremely hilarious but the audience may not and then there'll be parts where the audience will think it's really funny so that's that's the funnest part is is be able to get the reaction and give tell them all the stories